new Volvo S60. £20,000 of reasonable Swedish luxury. But are Volvos any fun? Well, I had one for a week to find out. When I first got this car, I wondered, what's it really going to be like? Is it going to be, is it going to be a nice car to drive, or is it going to be pretty boring? The guy that delivered it to me, he said, oh yeah, no, it's, it's fantastic, you're, you're going to love it. But I was still pretty sceptical. They're still, I don't know, associated with people who like to carry wardrobes and cupboards to car boot sales and and that's pretty much it really but now I've had it for a week the man is coming to collect it in two minutes time because the rain has put off filming for the last week or so and I really rather enjoy it and I, I don't want to let it go so what's interesting well apart from a TV in the sat nav and heated seats you can unleash that 1.6 litre diesel turbo engine. You can turn the traction sort of off so you can spin the wheels which is I don't do I don't do that because that would be that would be immoral and, and very very dangerous but it can do it I've heard. There are a few problems chief among which is the sat nav. The sat nav I try to enter the postcode wouldn't let me do it. So then I thought, okay, I'll put in the road name and then put in the postcode. So I put in the road name, but then it wouldn't let me enter the postcode and it wouldn't give me the right road name. So then I put in the town, and then I could put in the road name and then I could put in the postcode, but I could only put in the first three letters of the postcode and they were wrong. So I ended up in sort of, I don't know, north somewhere, not where I wanted to be. But, I love the centre console, it's a bit fiddly and it's a pain in the backside when you, when you, I'm in third now, if I want to reach the heater controls I can't do it because the gear lever's in the way. You might be thinking now that the S60 is just a tad average, a simple car for getting from A to B. Actually, no. If you're in a spirited driving kind of mood and you're on the right road, it's a properly good car. I kept getting in it just for the fun of taking it for another drive. It's also a very pretty car, both inside and out. The kind of car you'd look out of the window in the morning and smile. Oh and uh, speaking of smiling, as you can tell from the idiotically childish grin plastered across my face, I never tired of that turbo. Should you buy one? Well, why not?